my name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Tom Crops. Alright, so our meta currency that we earned in the last episode, the 23 cornucopias that we have up there, can be used to pay this ant builder to give us some permanent upgrades that are going to take place in all of our runs. But before we do that, let us quickly change to the next character. This is Rai. Rai has guns last an extra day and starts with a turret. You can be very aggressive with Rai, so Rai fits my playstyle. As you might imagine, just a little bit better. Select a higher year to increase the difficulty and reward. I'll get to year two as well. The difficulty, I believe, is summed up in enemy speed. Uh, enemies are faster. Enemies' bullet speed is faster. And they have more health. Uh, as well as a couple other things that happen on certain years. Like in year two, monsters can start growing out of untended weeds. So suddenly tending to your weeds is much more of a concern. Uh, other than that, I don't know the rest of the years, and if they have unique things, we'll be discovering that together. Increase sprinkle attack to duration and watering radius, or slightly reduce tractor cooldowns. I'll take that one. Uh, increase wood shipper tractor radius, or pigeons will occasionally be sold in town at a gardening shop. Pigeons are the uh, scrolls, so we'll take that. Uh, increases rain cloud duration by 20% or anemicry has a 10% chance to sow higher tier seeds and a 3% chance to sow pumpkins or roses. Oh, I love that. Uh, pigeons will sometimes drop from bosses. So that is uh, scrolls dropping from bosses or purchase tractors start fully charged. I'll go for pigeons there. And now I don't have the ability to buy anything else here, but it's slight reduced tractor cooldown or increase rain cloud duration by 20%. So you get to make these choices, but eventually all of the options will be bought out. So you're effectively just choosing what you get earlier here. And as you can see, it is constructing a home for us over here that will house all of our improvements and will visually represent how far we're getting alongside those. Yes, kill all tree monsters in a single run. Hmm. Yeah, I thought I did that last run, but I guess I didn't. Apparently, there was a golden pupa I missed last time. Kill 100 beeson in one run? Yeah, okay. Uh, harvest 144 potatoes in a 10-second span. Okay, so that's just like plant potatoes in the final season. Love it. Love those extra challenges. I'm not necessarily going to focus on doing any of them specifically right now, but I like that they're there. All right. With no further ado, let's jump into our run. Take my potatoes and run away first. So I like to get very aggressive with Rai early. Because you can buy a gun on the end of today. One sec. Just dropped a rose back down there. Roses spawn quite a while after the camp is defeated. So usually you have to kind of like stick around for just a moment to see if roses drop. Because roses are just that important. So as Rai, I can be real aggressive because I can purchase a gun on day two and then use that to explore two different areas. And I can spend more time out because I can get a farm, uh, sorry, a turret that I already have to defend my base for me. It's like so, uh, so shield there. Sewing shields destroys enemy bullets. We saw sprout energy in the last episode. It is uh, sowing seeds in uh, charges up a powerful blast. Getting early rain cloud is really good here because if I'm going to get the turret to defend so that I don't have to go back immediately as uh, night falls, then I'm also going to have less time on the farm, so I'm going to need the things to grow faster. That's where a rain cloud might come in handy. My pathing through this has been really bad, but it might be okay. okay get back across to make sure that missing any of these camps. I've got to make sure that I don't miss, uh, miss any camps for a while because obviously golden pupas exist. So especially before I have a golden pupa, I don't want to miss any camps, but I also don't want to miss any camps afterwards because that's just less value. Just dip, duck, dodge, dive, and dodge, I guess, uh, is going to be the strat here for a while. Because I can't take out all of these enemies, so... Oh! Fancy footwork right there. Can't take out all of these enemies. It would take us way, way too long. So I am going to need to dodge a fair amount of them. Oh, almost. Coming out of nowhere to try and get me. Thinking I'm off my guard. 
never off my guard. I was kind of hoping I would take a hit while I said that, but uh, just for the sake, sake of the joke at least. This is the tree monster I imagine they're referring to with the achievement. Fertile eggs! Oh my god! Okay, if fertile eggs is the first thing we get, then we just take every chicken. Uh, remember last run when I mentioned when I saw fertile eggs that it is a way to make a pretty ridiculous run because you just start taking chickens and then those chickens make more chickens and then eventually you have too many chickens and not enough frames per second to host all of those chickens? That's what we're about to do. We're going to need some more chickens to get started, though. And I've also got to make sure that any time an egg spawns, I make it my priority to pick it up. Uh, hang on. Quickly pairs. those down and then two beans as well and sure now we can get the oh it's working perfectly what a good opening right here then we can get the rain cloud down so these grow a little faster plants are gonna grow a lot slower as this character than they grew as lavender because we haven't got the same uh, same buffs Okay, we did manage to get five roses before the end of day one. That is a lot. I'm also going to hang here and hold alt just to see if we could have gotten uh, a little bit more before the end, but that's okay. Sprinkler head, turrets, water, nearby crops. All right. That's going to decrease the need that I have for cows, which is really good because sometimes your option is I get a cow or I get a chicken. All right, Rue, we're officially flirting. Also, out of these two weapons, hmm. I actually don't know. Jackrabbit's probably just a little better for the areas I'm about to go to. So, because I get to keep this gun tomorrow as well, I get the opportunity also to pick up a bridge repair kit tomorrow with my money instead of a gun which means that I can go to a third area very quickly. If I pick up two bridge repair kits, though, I can go to a second tier area very quickly, and those re really have benefits in them. Oh, I love the little uh, rain cloud up here as well. Oh, it looks real cute. This game does have a, a, a very excellent art style in terms of especially making things that otherwise wouldn't look cute look way too cute. Everything in this game is adorable, despite the fact that obviously it looks like it's going to murder us and is mutated awfully many times. There's my golden pupa. While I'm waiting to see where that goes. Just some collection here, that's fine. Ooh, actually, it happens to be on my path. Great, love it. Cleats! Ooh! Okay, so running tills soil. So instead of now needing to till the soil myself, uh, I can just walk over it. It is such a huge time saver. It is... Like, it would be fair if, if, you know, in Dominion, it's fair to say there are... I'll take the pig there over the scarecrow getting some more soil. Uh, if in Dominion it's fair to say that there are chapel runs or chapel games and non-chapel games, uh, if you know Dominion you'll uh, be familiar with that one, I'm not necessarily going to explain it. Um, just because those two games are so significantly different based on the presence of that card, uh, there are cleats runs and non-cleats runs in this game as well. God, cleats are so good. Speed Mushroom didn't really last that long, eh? I thought it was going to be around for uh, a while longer than that. It's like a rain cloud. Definitely going to be a Nemecree there. Sorry, not a Nemecree. Blood rain. Uh, actually, I probably would have taken it a Nemecree. Don't hold me to that. <laughs> I might reassess that by the time we find the next Nemecree. Okay. 
Well, that looks like uh, full exploration. Yep. Great. Full exploration, and we're back to base very, very quickly here. Make sure that I get all the eggs. As you can see, I walk over them and they till themselves now, although I need the weeds to be gone before I can do that. However, I am gonna be stacking chickens, so they'll be doing the weeding for me already. This is gonna be so good. Okay. Just trying to get some better soil here to work with. And then uh, pop the turret by itself up there. So when I harvest, I am shielding myself from all these enemies. Huge benefit to have. All right. Start some rain as well. Looks like I only have enough fertilizer to get one of those to be a mega crop, but that's okay. I'll keep seeing if I can make that final one a mega. Uh, should I? We don't have much longer left. So I'm specifically going to be attacking the things that aren't weeds, but are in the place that weeds would be, because those will drop fertilizer for me. Yeah, there we go. yeah. not bad. Um, I don't really know what wants to go down right now, so I'm gonna put uh, two dates. Okay, trees down. Yeah, just in case. I think with the early pig, I'm not going to have huge problems with my space. <sighs> okay, now Rue is selling bubble shield. Watering crops creates a shield that blocks bullets. We also have the scary mask for scarecrows deal more damage. Mm, I'm fine. Neither of those are good items that I want. If I can't get married today, I may as well just not do it. Oh. Uh... Okay, fine. I actually don't think this one's going to be great right now. Uh, I'm going to take a rusty SMG just to replace my weapon. So yes, my weapon did last two days, but it would have broken it tomorrow. So today I'm buying a rusty SMG so that I can carry this for two days. Uh, so I'm just effectively uh, re-upping the timer on them by buying a different weapon there. Also, I legitimately think this might be a better weapon for what I'm about to do. So usually you would go north or south here, but as I mentioned in the last episode, the tier two areas in each direction, so not just this or this, but the tier two directions that are beyond those, uh, they house one rare camp, and that rare camp can be ridiculous. It can give you three items, for example, or hang on, it's down here. Uh, it can give you three items, for example. It can give you a bunch of farm animals. If we can get that right now, holy heck, y'all, holy heck. Life would get pretty ridiculous pretty quickly. Also, having the monster mulch up makes this a lot easier for us to do. I'll take the companion planting, plant crops of a similar type. Near each, uh, yeah, these enemies are very fast and they have a lot of HP. We're finding, like, some decent things. Dang it. Remember when I said my playstyle is risky? And that this is a bad idea and don't do it? This is why. Oh, my God. You really want to be stronger than this by the time you get here. Oh, am I going to kill myself on this run trying to do this? I have only one health left. I should really bail. But if I bail, then I wasted like a whole day in my first season. Gosh, these enemies are so fast. Huh? Yeah, I couldn't footwork my way out of that one. <laughs> okay, that one might be a little too aggressive. Good score at the end there, though. I don't even just... All right, let's let's try a more standard opening. 
Uh, when you do that opening, you really want an upgraded weapon on that day, but I didn't get enough in order to do that upgraded weapon. And also, one of the best things that you can do is uh, do it with the shotgun, and the shotgun either with clip size or with uh, toxic spores. The tractor was very helpful, but I really should have held onto it for just a little longer, because we were swarmed after that. So I should have really used that to provoke a couple of camps and then go for it. Golden hoe, tilled soil lasts longer. Unfortunately, we no longer have the cleats, but whatever. Easy come, easy go. So tilled soil lasts longer basically just means you have two times where you get to plant things in that area and then harvest it before you actually have to till the soil again. So effectively, you're just tilling the soil half as often. Hey! See that hard left that enemy took? And then immediately started running? Oof. I don't know how he's supposed to dodge that one. Well, I mean, obviously, <laughs> don't get as close as I do to the enemies. That's one great way to do it. But no, I want how I could dodge it without compromising how I'm playing. <laughs> what do you mean that's being uh, a rigid player and that's the cause of a lot of frustrations I have uh, sometimes in games? Huh. That's very enlightening. I'm going to think about that a lot recently, and then I'm going to start adjusting my play style uh, as a result. I have been thinking about that a lot recently and trying to adjust my play styles as a result. It's just something that, you know, initially I always start out on every game doing the same thing, which is how can I make this ridiculous? How can I make this broken? How can I focus on this one single thing on t uh, to the exclusion of all else to the point that it becomes insane? But usually then that will die to anything except for exactly the setup that it is capable of countering. And then as that happens to me enough, I, by that time, will have enough experience in the game that I can start making more clever decisions consistently. It's like initially I go off of instinct and then eventually, at, with all games I play, eventually there is some point where I go away and learn the game by myself and then come back and show what I've learned in the, the time off camera. I played a lot of a Tom Cross off camera, to be fair, though. Yeah, this was a really slow clear. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, I've already interacted with a wood chip attractor there. If I hadn't interacted with it, it would still be on the ground later. Uh, just in case I got, you know, an extra tractor slot and wanted to come back for it or something like that. Uh, but because I have interacted with it, it won't do that. Chicken. Just get some fertilizer as I walk past y'all. I can actually do a pretty good fertilize here on the day one. Okay, hang on. No, wait, not fertilize. Uh, and my Megaton Tractor isn't up. Okay, I was thinking of like a Nemecry Megaton Tractor just to get a little bit of money early. We're not going to get anything before the end of today, which is, uh, oh, it's going to be rough. So I just have to hope that I got, nice, I did. I got enough money from the loot that we did out as we were traveling in order to pick up a weapon. I couldn't pick up a 45, but thankfully there is a shallot gun here, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And back out. So anything that decreases my tractor cooldown, 100% gonna want that. Megaton tractor is huge. Okay. Probably went too far across there for the pathing, because obviously you want to start going north, 
very, very quickly. Take weed killer, cut an additional weed. So if I cut a weed and there isn't weed next to it, it will also get cut. You gotta love the shotgun's ability to take out the swarms in this area. That actually could have been a blood rain with the two anemocrees I'm already holding. Yeah, that definitely could have been a blood rain right there. Rose drop. Take the hyper speed. Really knew. Wish I knew how long the speed is actually specifically going to last. So I could judge around. Uh, it looks like that was maybe 10 seconds. I don't think I have a pig back at base yet. I think it's time to get our first pig. Ooh, that was a rough shot to have to take there. I'm going to use a tractor for just growing a Anemocree scroll very quickly here. So I'm going to hold on to the Megaton Tractor. The Megaton Tractor, by the way, just in case you didn't see the last episode or what I mentioned in it, Megaton Tractor does everything. It cuts weeds, it tills soil, it makes everything grow, it waters them as well. Rain cloud is good. Resilience! Crops now spread onto hard crust. That is a very good pickup right now. So what's so good about resilience? Crops spreading onto hard crust. Well... sec as I quickly just set up my map a little better. Great, and then I will set up roses. This is why. Because roses spread to topsoil as well. So you can get a ridiculous amount of roses early with this and then use that to get married very early. Although none of those roses seem to be spreading to topsoil, but uh, the corn, as soon as I planted it, immediately spread to topsoil and it was a bad hit. Hmm. I hope they didn't change how that works and now roses can't spread because if they can't, then... This was just a huge waste of roses. Fine, I'll use a rain cloud. I was planning not to, but I didn't really give him much choice. The roses aren't spreading to topsoil. Oh! One spread. One spread. I should I should harvest. Yeah, it was good that I harvested because I want that horse. Uh, you know what? I also want the gourd. Gourd is just a little bit of an orbital. It'll hang around and block bullets for us. Oh, one more gold! And I'd have the ability to upgrade. Uh, rude. Rude. My tractor had charge and I probably would go to a second tier area right now, but it doesn't. No, never mind. It wasn't the rose that spread to the topsoil. It was the corn. Okay, yeah, I don't think roses can spread to topsoil anymore. Which is kind of a disappointment to be entirely honest, but it's okay. At least we have an explanation. Okay, let's go north. Actually, you know what? The Megaton Tractor is ready now. Screw it. Let's make the same mistake again. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine this time because nothing's different. 
I gotta scope out where the best camp is. Thankfully, I have the extra move speed. I could do that. Get myself a pig. Well, we got a lot of fertilizer early. Is that good enough? I don't think that's good enough, really, to justify what we just did. But we got the rare camp, and then we ran out of there, which is pretty much exactly what I wanted to do. I don't know. Maybe it is good enough. Screw it. Maybe it is. Okay, as soon as these come up, I'm popping down another anemone. Also going to pull that one up. Get the turret in an area where it's not blocking a possible mega crop. Nice. We can't really do much more exploring today. So sometimes going to the later area as quickly as you can is incredible. And then other times it's, you know, fine. <laughs> Here it was fine. It'll give us a lot of money to springboard into the next season. And I do have to replace my weapon tonight. So getting a lot of money right now is very valuable. Uh, but also we did pay 200. Ay, yay, 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 yay. Uh, we also did pay 200 for the privilege of going to that area and then just instantly being denied. Although, in the next season, if we are going to purchase a weapon and double upgrade it on the first day, which looks very likely that we're about to do that, well, guess what? We have a whole level 2 area that's unexplored and we will have a weapon that is starting to get decent enough to take it out. We might not be able to explore the entire area in a single day, but we'll be able to make a dent. I'm not planting them in, you know, grids right now because they don't have enough to be planted in grids. I could plant them near an edge and hope that they become a mega crop with the topsoil, the resilience. But that's a pretty long shot to take, I think. Keep watering them manually. Definitely gonna put a peach tree here. I'm gonna try and put another peach tree next to it. Yeah, it's too late to use the Megaton Tractor now. I was debating the entire time whether or not I'd deploy that. Ugh, those weapons! Those are the only two weapons I didn't want to see right now. Uh, stats up, increase all climbing and fighting stats, as well as so shield. Sewing shields destroys enemy bullets. We had that in the previous run, but now we have it here as well. Uh, I like Gord. Gord saves you a lot of hits. Like, you never notice Gord, but Gord is good. Huh. I thought I'd be caught dead saying that. Uh, let's go for a Gord. Nice. All right. This this one at least has piercing the the butcher's knife, so I think I have to take it. Got the butcher's knife. Got the uh, got piercing and drop rate as its upgrades. <laughs> uh, yikes. I'm gonna try and go to the level two area, but it's real hard to do that right now. We got 
the two worst weapons offered to us there. And didn't get particularly good upgrades on them either. What I really would have wanted to see there was a damage upgrade. Breeze that is very good early. Please stop being faster than me and taking all of my HP away. I need some of that for living. I mean, at least I'm getting fertilizer while I'm doing this, but it is an extremely slow clear for a second level upgraded thing. I'm going to take a uh, turkey there, which is an upgraded chicken. Really invested. Hey, yay, 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 yay. Look at that pincer maneuver. Really invested in trying to get this shrine. Because it could be the early extra damage that I need here. It's, 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 uh, uh, all the enemies are just pinning me. Between themselves and other enemies I haven't killed yet. Okay. I'll take the golden puber if I can get it. Which is a long shot because it will be really hard. You know what? Screw it. You all die. I get that pig. I'm going back to base. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Thank you. Ugh, rough. All right. Well, back at the ranch, we've got a turret to pop down in the new area. Really wish I had more tillable soil, but that is why I just picked up that hog. Okay, now they're all very healthily fertilized. Yeah, this weapon just definitely can't go back to those areas I was previously in. Just just unfortunate, but it can't. <sighs> I just wanted to show off a new strat. <laughs> well, new to this series at least. Sadly, the game keeps not letting me do it. Trying to make it happen just keeps making me die. Okay. All right, between the hog and my turret, I should now have enough defense there to enable myself to quickly go out in this direction. See if we can just liberate a couple camps quickly. B. I accidentally left a couple seeds on the ground there, unfortunately, at the end. Okay. Uh, still have this weapon. <laughs> still don't like it. Can't take... Oh, uh, well, I could take a rusty SMG and upgrade it once, but no, I'm fine. I'm also not going to buy health there. I'm just going to heal up over the course of ex exploration. Which honestly isn't as bad of an idea as it sounds like it might be. Especially because roses being spent on health actually increase the health cost of... Oh, sorry, rose cost of all future uh, health. So the first one costs you one, second one costs you two, three, etc. And if you're spending them 
with roses, which are like a non-renewable resource. On that, well, you've got fewer roses to spend everywhere else where you really want them later. Obviously, for marriage is a huge part of it, but also the mayor just sells a bunch of stuff in uh, in their shop after each season. Watering crops creates a shield, plus bullets. I'll take that over air freshener, which is whenever you use a tractor, become energized. Yeah, like a second level upgraded version of this is good enough for this area, but only just. Raise weeds, cutting weeds does damage to nearby enemies. Oof. Not loving the enemies in this area, all the dodges. I'm gonna take another aggressive shrine offering there. That is, I will give them health in exchange for damage. And that's because I ultimately think I will save more health by doing that. Let's take the harvest shield. Harvesting crop destroys nearby enemy bullets. There was also uh, tilling soil uh, releases an explosive moth. Which is just effectively a, a seeking missile that will hit an enemy. I think there actually might be like couple things here in the middle of the map that I already missed. Crampons! Weed Stomp! So it's like the cleats that I saw earlier, but for weeds. Take a breeze. Instead of for tilling soil, it weeds. Eee, yikes, that was really bad. Okay, and... And we do have the other golden puber in the other area. All right, back to the farm. So I have razor sharp weeds, so they deal damage to enemies. And also I stomp and those stomps kill weeds. So if there are enemies standing near weeds, I just do that. Just step on some weeds near them. It's a very risky way to be doing this though. Honestly, I just wish I was attacking them normally. But I did want to show that off. Okay, thank you for the health. Very important heart thing right there. Do there? Probably not. Okay. Weapon is dead. Probably going a jackrabbit. Couple upgrades. Yeah. Four upgrades. We got bullets, clip size, and ricochet. That's gonna be good enough. We can go to lay the tier areas again. Whew. Since we're about to start going back to lay the tier uh, areas in the next day because of the power of this weapon, I will now purchase a heartbeat. Okay, that's south. So obviously I'm looking for the rare camp in this area too. These be a good one. Although I also do, with this gun, have the ability to you know, just take out camps normally for normal benefits. Definitely take a rain cloud there. First rain cloud I think I've seen. I 
Actually, I might have gotten a rain cloud, but it also might have been last run. Hard to tell. There's our second rain cloud. Thank you for the roses. Early roses are very good. Uh, I don't have the golden puby yet, so despite the fact that I don't care about this tractor, I do still have to free it. Because that could have been the camp that held the golden pupa. Oh my god, this is the animal side. Okay, never mind. Everything just got a lot better. We just got way more powerful. Very No, it's not the camp! Oh, I saw the fence and I was like, that's the camp. It's not the camp. Ugh. Okay, upgrade all of our garbage seeds into good seeds. That is... Wow. We found actually the two worst tier three upgrade, uh, tier three upgrades, two worst rare camps. There are four of them. Each of them spawn in a different tier two area. Uh, and we found the worst two of them. Because the other two are three items in the same camp. You just get three items. Great, obviously. And then uh, the farm animals. This is actually pretty unfortunate. I don't think I got that rose at the very end. I don't think it collected. Annoying. I'm trying to get the Soul Crusher to stand near a bunch of weeds. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be too tricky in using these crampons. Just fight the enemy normally, Ryan, otherwise you're gonna die. that you just dropped as well. Now, I'm going to make sure that I plant down two roses here so that we actually get yeah, three mega roses there. And it looks like I might be aiming right now to get married by the end of the season. Okay. Great. I'm just going to plant a whole new anemocry there. Basically just because... I don't really have the time to plant as much stuff as I wanted myself before the rain cloud was about to have a bad time. Ooh. Ooh, water Chris kills all nearby roaches. I like that. Roaches are pretty annoying. Borrowed butterfly, tilling soil or breaking cross releases an explosive butterfly. We'll take a bridge repair kit there. Obviously, blood monsoon and track pants run faster. Love a good run faster. Uh, pig is also very good. I'll take roach killer. Sure, I'll take a thorn as well. Orbiting thorn that damages nearby enemies. I'll take a damage upgrade as well. And then I guess that means I'm going to get married too. So this will increase my farming stat by five. A few, uh, the next few large aloe vera crops drop health on harvest. Interesting, only the next few do that. I mean, I do have an aloe vera crop growing at the moment. So water Chris is gonna do a lot of watering for us. So now I can stop focusing on getting any watering in this run at all, pretty much. Go back out in the fray, I think. Let's just quick 
quickly fertilize all these crops. Great. All right, and then we will finish out this side. See, when you have a good weapon and some good damage stats, this is all way more manageable. Because you can actually beat him back. Oh, take an earthquake there. Thankful crops. Crops have a chance to drop a seed and fertilizer when watered. We are getting a lot of things giving us fertilizer back right now. I'm actually just going to straight up kill those. Because fighting them is rough. And if you don't have enough damage, they can actually just... You know, they can put you on a timer effectively. By doing an attack that encloses you in. Just don't want a long, prolonged fight with them. Speed up. Whoa, I love the speed. You can see there are a fair few enemies around here that are just dropping dead when they're in my vicinity, and those are the roaches with Roach Killer killing them. We now have enough sunflower? No, we're still one sunflower short of having a good season. This can be the full clear of this area, I think. You know what? I'll take the microchip. Microchip means turrets and drones will fire faster. Hopefully explore this area. Uh, means that they'll fire faster. And I just picked up the Curret, which is a extremely powerful turret. So it seems like a good time to pick it up, if I'm ever going to pick it up. Let's put the two turrets on opposite sides here, so that I'm defended from attacks from both the north and south. Should be a pretty quick harvest. Also, just get rid of a lot of these weeds if I can. big enough. I don't want to waste all my fertilizer on those, but I did want to get a little bit of early money out of them. Great. And let's till all of this soil instantly and start with some aloe vera. Great. Now we're starting to get up some high tier crops. Well, my gun just died, right? Yeah, great. Perfect opportunity to get a fully upgraded shotgun. Take two bridge prepare me kits and go back out. So I'll finish planting here and then I'll finish the exploration of the left side and then probably go south. Super neat little areas. Just gotta be 
fine with. Okay. The rest of this fertilizer into the bigger plants and then run away. Okay, let's go down and across here. Seems like the easiest way to find the areas we haven't gone to. I'll get a grass-fed cow there. I don't think I need more watering on my... Uh, maybe I do need more watering on my farm still. Actually, I probably do. It's been a while since I picked up any watering. Because the enemies don't aggro onto you until you actually start fighting the cat, I really like to position myself behind those enemies that only take damage from behind before I open the combat. I'll take nearby crops grow much faster rather than water witching. Whenever you water a crop, uh, nearby enemies take 50% of their current HP in damage. Oh, love it. Thank you. Another permanent progression pick up there. Uh... Crops aren't going to merge super commonly for me, so... Don't really care about the releasing of explosive moths whenever crops merge. So instead over that, I took the nearby crops grow much faster, and we also just picked up double-edged watering can, water two crops at once. I, again, I will stress, I am trying to keep in mind showing the items on the screen and describing what they do, but... Uh, because of the nature of the game being much faster paced than that, uh, sometimes I will forget, sometimes I will be time crunched and won't necessarily have the opportunity to. In those circumstances, however, I do invite you to leave in the comment section your curiosities about any of the items that you've seen, and a time link in particular, if you can, uh, to when they were seen on screen. I'll describe them to you. I'll be your wiki. I actually don't know if there is like a wiki out for this game yet. But I'll be it. How about instead of Wikipedia, you use Wikimedia? <laughs> uh, that's a very dad joke. And, uh, and just ask me, kiddo. Play the game a lot. Oh my god, I actually have enough peaches to make a, a full peach tree now. Um, yeah, let's do it. Also, before that, I'm going to rack up my season total. Thank you. So you'll notice I'm always passing the season tally and always getting maximum benefits from it. That's not super typical. At least as you start out. Um... But I find that holding sunflowers for a season that you feel like you're already going to have trouble in and then just popping them down at the right time can be pretty ridiculously powerful. They can just save you a season in a pinch, I think is what I was trying to say there. Great. Whew. Okay, I could buy another shallot gun and then max upgrade it here just to give it an extra day of duration so that I don't see bad weapons tomorrow, but eh, I'm fine with it. Take a little money and bounce. Sorry, take all the bridge between materials there, rather, and then bounce. Turret down here. Now that both of those are gone, I can finally finish up what I was doing before, which is peach tree here, peach tree here. Big peach tree. And then I can leave. Although I'd really love to make that heartbeat actually a full one. Hang on. 
north of north. I could go north of north now if I want to go to an extra area. I mean, the extra areas are guaranteed to have good rare camps in them because I've gotten both of the bad rare comps already. Camps, camps, Ryan, not cam, comps, I think I said. Camps. Yeah, I've gotten both of the bad ones, so these ones are going to be great. And we definitely have a weapon we can take on this area at the moment. Laxative. Oh, there's a golden pupa. Laxative. Farm animals reduce small fertilizer. Sprout energy, which is... I described it earlier, in fact. Okay, here's the chest that will give us three items. Helpful worm. Tilling soil uncovers a helpful worm for protection. Then herbicide blood is killing enemies cuts nearby weeds and turrets water nearby crops with this sprinkler head. Oh god, those toxic clouds are so good for Bison. Flamingo friend, we got some roses and all of our roses from now on will grow instantly. I don't really like Flamingo friend. It's not as impactful as a lot of the other stuff that you can get in the Golden Cupers. Like if I said before, there are cramps runs and non-cramps runs. Uh, crampon runs, sorry. Uh, not crampons. It's the other one that I was talking about at the time. Uh, if there are cleats runs and non-cleats runs, there is no such thing as a flamingo run. Maybe if you got it very early on and you also got a lot of lucky drops, maybe you could make something, I guess. I just don't see it. Gotta love how powerful this weapon is against bosses. It's, uh... The toxic spores should probably be toned down just a little. They're, they're so good that they might be too good. And that, that's not me just, you know, assessing it based off of that fight or anything. That's me assessing it based off of my history with this game uh, and always thinking it was remarkably good uh, and it's it's only gotten better but you know I mean I called white noise the most broken card in the game when it uh, when the defect came out so <laughs> like I I can't always necessarily call those shots I'm actually going to set myself up with the possibility of getting four mega trees right here. Although I have excess peaches and no apples right now. Although I haven't even gone exploring south, so of course I have no apples. <laughs> that uh, it would not make sense if I had any. Honestly, a pretty good season. You can see here, which is something we haven't seen much at all so far. Uh, you can see here a seed crunch. I have a lot of space and I had a lot of time there. I didn't have any seeds to put them uh, in any of those areas. So, finally an example of seeds being our bottleneck. That said, I have a lot more explore, uh, exploration to do and that's where you get the majority of the seeds, so we should be fine. Okay, I'll take a cabbage white, which is shoot explosive butterflies. Great. Uh, also pickaxe, just a bunch of pickaxes and free breeze, as you might imagine. Uh, fertilizer fuel converter. Collecting fertilizer charges your tractor. Yep. I did say that I would take anything that charges this tractor. I'll also take the cow and the bee. I just... Permanent upgrades. Love them. Uh, being energized doubles your damage and increases speed. We don't have the coffee cup yet, which is the companion piece for that. So it's actually not that powerful for us. If we had the coffee cup, well, uh, different question. Rusty and all of its upgrades, range and damage rate of fire, at accuracy and damage piercing and explosive rounds. Ridiculous pickups there. Now we only need one to go down here and then three to go to the extended area. So we have enough 
Bridges. We've got Jeff and Bo. And that's, frankly, all we require. Before I leave this area, though, yeah, it's probably time to put the other anemone down, I think. We can run away. Uh, we got returned by the boss, so we actually have to go north manually here. I was just checking whether we had a return teleport. Hmm. I'll take the turkey there. Upgraded chicken over an upgraded bee. The hummingbird is the upgraded bee. It's not necessarily implied, as you might imagine. Uh, it's not even in the same... It, it's not in the same uh, animal kingdom. Weed whacker. Yeah, we have crampons, so we'll take companion planting. Oops. Planting seeds of the same type. Gives you a benefit. Uh, ooh. Yeah, we need earthquake. Honestly, like our tillable soil is a pretty decent size right now. So spending time actually tilling that soil is, is a really rough proposition. Vinaigrette, weeds are harvestable. I mean, we already run over a bunch of weeds, so this will just give us money as we do that. I, uh, I'm just going to make absolutely certain that I haven't left a camp here. I have. Now I'll take the other Anemokri Breeze. Great. All right, there's a exit... There. Almost got hit there. Got saved by the gourd, I'm pretty sure. Yikes! Roach managed to deal damage to me. Taking a very early shot at where I was about to be. Blood Monsoon. Good. Fertilizer is definitely a huge problem for us right now. So he's not having a storm cloud. Now I've just got one scroll of every type. I'll go back when I next encounter a teleport home. Damn it, there it is. I was hoping I wasn't going to encounter it for a while so I could justify staying out a bit longer. Stay energized longer is really good. I'll take that over the farming stats. How far is the golden cube going? Too far. Too far. We'll take that rose and run away. Away from my stuff! Now, I don't need to put down the rain cloud yet. Everything is already fully watered. Needs to be harvested. Looks like the weed monsters aren't appearing yet. Either I'm managing the weeds very well, which I don't think I'm doing, or they are a later year addition than I thought they were. Or maybe they would just change to be a later year addition. Since I last played. Uh-oh. Accidentally used the, the wrong scroll there. Whoops. So I lost my earthquake for basically no value whatsoever. Dang it. Don't like doing that. money. Ooh, sweat band. Run faster. Love it. Ooh, occasionally fire, uh, fling a squirrel. Love it. I, uh, days last longer. Damn it. So if at the very end I just planted a rose, just a single rose, I would already have days last longer. Days last longer is one of my favorite bonuses. God, do I ever love days last longer. Uh, back out on the farm, I think. Uh, 
definitely go for another bee there, especially because they have the trophallaxis, so bees water crops for us. Not that watering my crops is my problem right now. It is very much still seeds. Stats up. Eh. I love a stats up golden pupa. It's okay. It's better than the roses ones, I'll say that. Because oftentimes what I want to do with those roses is use them to get more stats. I'm also very precious about how I spend my roses. I imagine as I continue going through the years, I uh, I will be disabused of that. I'm going to quickly go across here just so that I access the teleports to return later. Actually, that might have already been this whole area. It is, yeah. Okay, let's go. Now I'll take that Earthquake to replace the one that I actually used. Hmm, Golden Pupa, great pickup. Very early to pick that up. I'll take a Hummingbird here. The Hummingbird is also going to water my crops because bees water my crops and it is the upgraded bee. Rose Bouquet, another one of the rose that I don't necessarily love getting. You got it though. That happened not. That doesn't even really hold because if I didn't have it, then I would still have a golden pupa left, and that golden pupa might have something better in it. Uh, okay. Our pathing through here hasn't been excellent, but it has been kind of comprehensive and very quick. So it's non standard excellence. Yeah, stay away from me. Excuse me? <laughs> trying to get trying to get me damaged that day. Oh my god. Freed all of those at the same time. That is what I want. So if that had happened on the third day, come on, how ridiculous would that have been? Just getting all of those animals. We would have had so much soil. Harvest Moon, I love that. Crops grow faster at night. I might actually just full complete this area before I go back. You know what? I don't have the time. Things only just started getting eaten though, so... We weren't that crunched. I'm saving my fertilizer for better plants. Hey. Stop getting that close. Okay, uh, bananas. The thankful crops, by the way, if I water a tree, it does have a chance to drop its own seed. So we're using thankful crops at the moment to possibly get us enough seeds here for the trees that we're trying to get down. I definitely don't need extra money right now, so there's no reason to go for the sunflowers yet. things. Uh, in uh, increases a chance of seed drop while I'm harvesting. Love it. I'll take that. I'll leave the ability to float with you for later. That's not good. Okay, we got a little bit more of the bottom left down here that we want to check out and then we should be uh, pretty rightly done. At least for the start of today, I should probably be planting things. Okay, 
more. Two more, right? Because I'm watering them, so I'm getting new seeds constantly here. Great. So grapes on this side as well. Probably gonna want like a, a, a blood monsoon or something to actually cover all of these. We end up with one. Making some pretty excellent boxes out of these. All right. Yeah, I feel really, really happy with how that turned out. Okay, so then down and across is the completionist path here. Yeah, this might be one of our final item pickups. Chicken Calicry or Turret Growth Aura. I'll take the Chicken Calicry. We have a lot of chickens back at base. And we don't have as many seeds as we'd like. Sprinkler Tractor is interesting in that if I could pick it up right now, it would be really nice to. But it doesn't come fully charged. Specifically because it would help us get these uh, tree seeds. I don't know if the Megaton Tractor can help us get these tree seeds, but I guess there's no reason not to try. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have helped. Right. The singular Lulla die. Really? Who's going to sing who will Lulla die? Undertaker? Undertaker? The Bundertaker is actually probably the most annoying boss in the game, so I'm I'm lucky and glad that I get to bully it at these uh, year levels before it starts making me have a real bad time. Here's the attack I was talking about in the last episode that didn't get shown. Still trying to fertilize as many of these crops as possible. Just holding down space while I'm standing on the farm, basically. Hey, you are, Bundertaker. Goodbye, Bundertaker. So the thing about all of this is that we now have like a minute to quickly plant as much as we can if we want to actually get money out of it. So get a sunflower down. On quickly everything. I don't care about boxes anymore because I don't have any fertilizer. All right, fine. Two peach trees over here. It's actually, you know what? Quickly, I'm gonna do that just in case. Didn't get any tree seeds. Fine. Two peach trees go here now. Make sure I get as much as I possibly can out of this final harvest. Wander around and pick up everything that dropped from tilling those, and then that's going to be what wins me the final battle. Beeson is just harmless, and they drop fertilizer on contact. Sure. We'll probably end up taking it. Not that it'll do anything to us. Lard. Reduce enemy bullet speed. That is a huge pickup right there. Oh, baby. Where are you? 
there is usually someone here who has, uh, who you have to pay a thousand cashews and then you can gamble. And when you gamble, you get cornucopias sometimes. And then you use those cornucopias to buy more things out uh, as, as permanent upgrades. They're the metagame currency, right? So obviously I'm looking to get as many of them as quickly as possible and then max out my metagame currency so that I'm playing on, you know, what I would probably call the real version of Atomicrops when you have all of those. Eh, it's a pretty good weapon. I don't think I need to do anything here. Let's go. The vegetables have turned. The worm has turned, gentlemen. Wish I had a rain cloud so that I could count on this attack, but you're about to burn all of my plants. But that's okay. I wish I had the ability to not use this after I started using it, but whoops. I have that ability. There we go. Now I just have to wait for the harvest to come up. And since it's permanently nighttime. It's not going to take long. Oh, my tractor's ready. Just harvest all of the tree again. Got him. I don't think you make any money uh, or I don't think you get any score for what you do at the very end there. Hey, tier two cats are now unlocked. A grateful ant historian will now nest near your farmhouse. Speak with them to trade cornucopias for permanent upgrades. New character unlocked, Robusta. I'm definitely going to have to check them out in just a moment. This is a... Uh, was this super standard? No, this is a Rai aggressive start. Nice. So here's the next upgrader. You start with two heart sprouts if you survived until summer in the previous run. You start with a random farm animal if you survived until winter in the previous run. So this means, you know, obviously the longer your runs are, the better off your next runs are. One out of 15 cats. Interesting, interesting. So we'll look at the cat trader again. Now we can see that if we purchase some from low, lower tier cats, we get a high tier cat. Although I actually, that gave me a cat, right? That run? Yeah. Hey, I got a cat running around on the farm now. Great. So tier one costs you five. You can also increase the capacity of how many. Oh, right. So that's a capacity. Got it. I think this is just like a cosmetic cornucopia sink. Um, I think these are the permanent upgrades. But the most important thing, new character. Robusta. Starts with a drone. Everything is faster. Everything. I like being faster, but we'll play this in the next episode. I don't know if I'm going to want to play this kind of don't look that different to me. Uh, yeah. I, I can see it. Specifically, like, that hair curl is... is And color, naturally, is also mine. Um, but I'm probably going to set the year back down to one if we're going to try robusting in the next episode rather than go up to three because it's... This sounds like a challenge character for everything to be faster, so I imagine my enemies and their bullets are faster. For the moment, though... My name is Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Atomicrop. So hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist in the description down below with all of my contents in this game, past, present, and future. Uh, again, we are near the very start of a series. So if you do like the videos, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. And it is very, very important, specifically at the start of a series. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.